If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. So all these people talking about subsidy, who is subsidizing him? Yes, Buhari was right. I cannot believe that I said that Buhari was right. <laughs> yes, Buhari was right. Oil subsidy is a scam. He was aware of this before he became president, many years before he became president. And he served as president and oil minister for eight years. What did he do about this scam? He doubled down. <laughs> that was it. You will, you all will remember that when Obasanjo was leaving in 2007, he sold off the refineries. But when Yeradua came in as president, he reversed his cell. President Yeradua did it. Now, when Buhari came in to office in 2015, he was sure he knew what to do with the refineries. After all, he was former minister for petroleum. For eight years under Buhari, our refineries operating at 30% capacity when he came in went to zero. <laughs> under Buhari, four of them ended up refining zero barrels of oil every day. <laughs> what did Buhari do? He continued to pay the workers at the refineries billions every year. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't end there. He spent billions more sending them abroad for training. <laughs> for what? <laughs> and if that was not enough, every year Buhari continued to pay contractors to perform what they call the um, turnaround maintenance of these refineries. Billions in dollars. Now, Nigerian people should ask for the names of these contractors. Seriously. Trust me, so they are people that you all worship and respect and call giants of uh, business people, giants of the industry. You know, these are the people who are contractors doing this turnaround maintenance and we get to them. <laughs> they should be paraded in public like common criminals because, because that is what they are. Also, also to be paraded are NNPC officials who have been paying them for doing nothing. Buhari as president and oil minister did something suspiciously exciting. Now, he invested billions of dollars into Dangote refinery. Look at the headline. Our own money. So, so, so Nigeria has 20% stake in the Dangote refinery that just opened. Why the Nigerian government-owned refineries are dead? That is where Buhari <laughs> left the oil industry. And that is where we found ourselves with trillions and trillions and trillions in oil subsidy. We get to that next. You can drink, you can drink, you can drink if you want to drink and cry like this woman. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>